So you may be like me who search for a lot of things on the internet right here and what I rely on the most is this capacitive touchscreen keyboard right here on my iPhone 3G. Now this is a great keyboard you know it's fine but the problem is that I have a hard time typing sometimes like why would I want to lift up my phone and then be typing like this all day it just kind of hurts my hands and I'm like I have a voice I didn't lose my voice box I didn't destroy it so why can I just use my voice to search for things with this application right here called voice commands and this is the free version I have the ability to do that let's begin with the app review of voice commands What's going on guys, my name is Ben from Ben I Saw Guy and as I stated in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be reviewing the voice commands app for your iOS device. Now this is more likely to fit in the business category. This is running version 1.1 and the size is 8.3 megabytes and the seller is by Component Studios LLC. So this is a free version. However, if you want to get the full functionality of this application, this will run you three bucks in the App Store. So without further ado, let's launch the application right here. So of course, this application, we got all the ads and stuff, but if you were to get the free version, you'll be able to do a lot more with this application, and we're going to go over that. So this is the user interface you are greeted when you launch the application for the first time. Let's click on this little I button right here. and this is running 1.1 as you can see and let's take a look at what you can do with the paid version versus the free version and that should do it now okay that should be good so when you get the paid version you can call text email directions to contact so and so play artist play song wikipedia imdb spell weather launch browser ebay Amazon buy stocks now with the free version all you can do is this uh, Directions to the nearest whatever where is the nearest? Google videos YouTube picture movies or you can ask questions simply like this. How old is Barack Obama? Who was the president in 1901? How far is the Sun? Yeah, yeah, yada 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 so you guys can see you can do a lot of things with this application right here so I'm going to be demonstrating and what I'm going to be doing is do a Google search search Apple let me turn it up here so as you can see you got these apps right here and this basically just uses the Google search on a somewhat Safari browser on here as you can see you can definitely click on the link and then the way we go and of course if you want to do the traditional way you can type on the keyboard however this isn't what the application is optimized for so let's search my YouTube channel search Ben I sell guy let's see if it spelled it right Okay, so it's not the most accurate. However, that could be due to the microphone on my device right here. Let's ask it a question. Uh, what should I ask it? Who is Jackie Chan? Question mark. That was just a random thought that popped up in my head. Okay, so it wasn't very accurate on here. Now, you notice we don't get a Google search right here. What we have is an ad, and this is the thing that I don't like about this application. Sometimes it will just pop up an ad randomly, and then how are you going to get to your Google search? I couldn't figure it out, and I think the only option you have is to go back and try it again, which is really unacceptable to me. Who is Jackie Chan? I do apologize that I bumped the tripod earlier. 
as you can see, another app popped up. You know, the that's not that's not terrible or that's not great. As you can see, we get some basic information even though this stupid ad popped up right here. Also, you push this button right here. You can open it in Safari or copy the URL. So, you can basically do so many things with this application. Now, the one thing you won't be able to do is this. Who are you? So, what I just did there is did a somewhat serious dictation. And that's not how it is like this isn't meant for starting a conversation this is more like to search for things with your voice so I'm gonna end the review right here as you can see it didn't take that long as my other app reviews have been so is this a great application this is a great application if you guys want to use your voice in order to search for things on the internet if you don't want to fiddle around with the keyboard right there especially on this small screen right here and don't forget all that data that I just showed you about the paid application because if you really feel the need to have all those options go ahead and pay the three bucks out of your like, bank account and invest in the full version of this application thank you so much for watching if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot Go ahead and leave a comment on what do you think about this application? Do you feel the need for this? Do you think it sucks and it's unacceptable or it's unnecessary? And go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet for more app reviews like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good day now.